Hello, we're going to demonstrate how to use HyperProc uh, from ETL uh, to reprogram SRS module, deployed SRS module. So we're going to reprogram it with brand new software uh, to proper part number. Of course, first we have to open computer. and it's always good to inspect the board if it was touched before if somebody worked with it we can see Renesas processor right here there is no external EEPROM memory so we have to reprogram whole micro okay we will connect programmer all descriptions in uh, descriptions are in the software, so it's going to be easier to work with. It. So it's USB. We connect to the programmer. Okay, programmer is ready to use. Since we recording screenshots, I see it's a little bit slower because we're doing this on the same computer. So we we'll use extension cable prepare with a description of all the pins. That's the easiest way and the fastest way. Uh, diodes indicates USB connection. Uh, once we power up, power up programmer from the board it's gonna another diode will indicate 5 volt supply so we should open the proper we should open uh, uh, proper pictures so for the board we're using we should find the proper board we got all the pictures here so we go to all the different boards Okay, so this is the picture of the board we're gonna do it. So we can see it's exact exact same picture, so we're gonna connect everything accordingly to the picture. First, we're gonna remove uh, reset short resistor. Actually, in this case, we're gonna move it. Just open the connection. There is um, another mode pin where we have to apply solder and do the short accordingly to the picture. Uh, we and we can apply some solder to the points where we're gonna solder so process will be easier we're gonna apply 12 volt right to the board right to the pin so we don't want to use the plug for now so it will be okay for this we're gonna just solder two wires so it doesn't require any special equipment okay now we're gonna apply eight ground yes. 
Ça. So, because cable it's got description, it's gonna be quite easy. So connect. Done. Okay. So not too hard. Total of uh, six wires plus power or seven. Okay. Next step is power up the computer, SRS module with uh, twelve uh, volt. It's good to use laboratory power supply so we can observe the currents. Looks like everything is okay. It's tight here. It's only about 300 milliamps. So there is no shorts. We didn't do nothing. And of course, our indication or hyper proc there is 5 volt. So, so far we doing okay. So now we're gonna connect the processor. Software is trying to adjust proper bitrate for communication. Okay, so we are connected to the micro and in this moment whole contents of the processor is erased. That's how this processor works. So that's why we have to select now proper file from the software and program complete. So to make sure we're just gonna read from the case of computer what kind of part number do we have it's 0 e060 toyota so it's 0 e060 0 yeah we got brand new file so all we do is select the file and all we have to do is start programming we press start and Everything goes very smoothly. Last two blocks are quite big, so it takes a little bit longer to program. That's normal. Check some verification. So programming was successful. So we we can disconnect the power from the SRS module, and we have to unsolder our cables. So cable is unsoldered, so now we have to remember to unsolder the short for mode operation. So we clean this, it's out. And we have to solder back reset resistor right in this area, the one we... Oh, so I would say it's... So we should keep, we should try to keep this clean whole process, so we don't leave any leftover leftovers on the board, so there is no shorts. Looks clean. So now we're gonna we 
put at least maybe a few screws and we're gonna try to diagnose this computer we got proper software to do it so right now we don't need programmer extra screws we're gonna put later and for this we're gonna connect we got partially diagnostic plug okay so we got special equipment built to diagnose all kinds of SRS modules so this one is Toyota so we will just try to get communication with the computer and we will some codes trouble codes should appear on the screen so again we're gonna power up everything now and observing power supply you can see initially current should go up and after should stabilize on this is typical for switching power supply inside it goes up capacitors charge and it's okay now we're gonna okay we can turn off programming software and we're gonna open our diagnostic software is custom software we need to wait for communication to interface module this is this box here this is our diagnostic interface this computer is fast can communication so we are connected so we can go Toyota can and we can read the code we go continue operation and we should have some trouble code okay we, we display all the codes as long as we don't have B1000 on this type of computer uh, everything should be okay and um, like we see computer works uh, these codes will, if everything goes okay in the car, these codes will go as a history code, so it's no big deal. We can basically clear them, but they will, they will appear again. Because obviously we don't have all the elements needed for this SRS module to work properly. again and we should have same amounts of code 13 codes and all the elements we miss so this is I guess the end of the test and we should really put the screws back And this SRS module is like brand new.